Hi guys, so we are going to look at direct and inverse proportion. I'm going to pick the odd few examples off this sheet just because they're a bit mixed up. And then I'll do the inverse proportion ones as well. So these are the ones where we're creating the equation and then using our equation afterwards for the part B to find an actual missing value. So first things first, direct proportion is the one where as one thing is increasing, so is the other. So I think of it as buying something, the cost of a pen. Um, the more pens you buy, the more it costs. And it's the same rate every time. So 30 pence per pen, 2 pens, 60 pence, 3 pens, 90 pence and so on. Okay, so what we've got is y is directly proportional to x. That means that y has to be equal to some multiple of x. Now in terms of the multiple, we always use the letter k for proportion. Okay, that doesn't matter if it's direct or inverse, you always use the letter K. It gives you, to begin with, X equals 4 when Y equals 15. So 15 is equal to K times 4. So all you're going to do is divide by 4. You're going to get 3.75. So K is equal to 3.75. That means your actual equation linking x and y, and this is where a few people made a mistake the last time you did this in a paper, is you know that it's y equals kx. Now that we've worked out what k is, our equation is actually y equals 3.75x. That's your actual answer. Okay. In the answer, there should only be a y and an x. There shouldn't be any extra letters involved. You just need to replace any unknown letters with a number. Once you've got this, you can use it to find any value you're looking for. So for part B, find the value of Y when X equals 5. Well, Y is equal to 3.75 times by 5. That gives us 18.75. And that's it. Question 1 done. Okay, you can have directly proportional to things like X squared instead. So if it's directly proportional to x squared, then y has to be equal, again, to some multiple of x squared this time. Substituting the numbers like we've got before, so 22 is equal to k times 2 squared. 2 squared is going to give us 4, so if I divide both sides by 4, it's going to give me 5.5. So k is equal to 5.5. That means my equation linking them together is y equals 5.5x squared. That's my equation that links y and x together. Second part, find the value of y when x equals 5. Well, y equals 5.5 times 5 squared. That's going to give us 137.5. And that's it, direct proportion where you've got a squared in. Just be very careful to read the wording. On this one, you've got that it's directly proportional to x cubed. On this one, it's the square root of x. So that's the one inside the square root sign. Okay, but everything else you should now be able to have a go at from those two examples. Okay, second one we're going to do is inverse proportion. Now, this is the more common one to show up. Sorry, I forgot to put the title on the top of the sheets. Um, so for inverse proportion, this one is as one thing is increasing, the other is decreasing. And the best way to think of it is if you um, think about a job being done, someone building a house. If it took one person um, 20 days to build it, it would take two people 10 days. Twice the people, half the time. Okay, so as one thing increases, the other decreases. So inverse proportion is always in the format K over something. Okay, so what we've got here is inversely proportional to X. It means Y is equal to K over X. Again, we do exactly what we did last time. We're substituting our numbers. So 8 is equal to K over 2. If I times by 2, I get K has to be 16. So my equation linking them is y equals 16 over x. Once you've found the k value, that will never change. It's going to stay as 16 every time. We're just going to use it to help us find some answers. So find the value of y when x equals 5. You get y equals 16 fifths or 3.2. 
and that's it first one done again you can get inversely proportional to things like x squared so y has to be equal to something over x squared in which case plug in your values 5 is equal to k over 2 squared well 2 squared is going to give me 4 so if i multiply up by 4 i get that k has to equal 20 in which case my equation is y equals 20 over x squared okay and again find the value of y when x equals 5 well y equals 20 divided by 5 squared since 5 squared is 25 you've got 20 over 25 which simplifies to 4 fifths or 0.8 okay you can just type that part into a calculator all right you can also get just like with the other ones inversely proportional to x cubed so it's something over x cubed or inversely proportional to a square root so that's the one with a square root sign in but it all very much follows the same pattern after that but this is the one that people tend to forget and it shows up every single year okay so make sure that you've gone through all the direct and all the inverse i know it gets a bit repetitive after a while but it is better to keep practicing them okay than it is to have it something that's forgotten when, like I say, it's there every single year.